Hey, Skid Row Trash doing another little video for text choices and stuff like that. So if you're if you want to have uh, multiple choices when you're talking to a guy, be able to select different shit from your menus or have different things happen. Uh, so I just made a little quick little map here. Uh, basically, I want to get this one here to have a couple different things that they say. So it's just sitting here. So what you do is you go into the event, uh, event commands window here, double click, and you want to go down to show choices. So there's a, a few different uh, options you can have here. When to cancel it, choice two it says, but uh, let's make um, choice one so it will be say hi, and choice two will be say I hate you. <laughs> Choice three will say hello. Now go away. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, how make three be the the one where it cancels it? Okay. So here we have these three new little sections in here like this. So these uh, right now they're it's set for um. What happens when you click on say hi and you can have a different thing happen we're just going to have text to show that it's working so they're going to say i am also saying hi to you uh, and then when they say i hate you we're going to say back to them i hate you more and then when it says hello no go away no go away. Wait, it's supposed to be now. <laughs> How do I? Oh, right click, edit up here. Hello. Now go away. Okay, so when they say that, we're going to have the guy say, okay, I'm leaving. And then it just ends the branch. So when it, when it goes through all these, it'll, uh, after it goes through this part, it'll cut down to the branch and it should. Let's give it a quick test. Just check this out. All right, so I'm going to run over and hit tap on it. Oh, see, now I get these options. So say hi. She's also saying hi to me. She's also saying hi to me. So I hate you more. Hello, oh, now go away. Okay, I'm leaving. So each one of these things basically ends it right after the thing because we have no other things other than just the text. So let's go back and let's say you wanted them to to uh to say hi but um only one time you don't want them to say hi again you know what i'm gonna make a new character for this it'll be easier this guy all right let's say you want this guy to uh, ask you if you want a sword and then you can say either yes or no and then He'll give you the sword. Let's see if we can do that. So I double clicked on there. I go inside here. When you go up and approach him, he's now going to come and say, Hey, do you want this sword? Let's give him a face. He can be this old man, I guess. Uh, so he's going to say, Do you want a sword to your guy? And then we're going to show choices right away. Yeah, or sure, I'll have it, or no, I don't need it. So these will be the choices. So he's going to ask you about the sword, and you have to pick one of these. So when you say, sure, I'll have it, we're going to have him actually give you a sword. So we, you will go into his change weapons. This changes the weapons in the inventory of the party. So let's... Pick out a sword here. Or the mithril sword. So increase by one. So he's going to give you the sword. And we're going to just say, here you go. That's what he'll say after he gives you the sword. And 
And if you say, no, I don't need it, he'll say something else. He'll go, okay, good, because I don't have one. I don't know. And then it will end. And then you can go up and do it multiple times. Let's see. Let's take a look at this. All right, so I'm walking over. I'm going to tap on him. Hey, do you want this sword? So sure, I'll have it. Or no, I don't need it. Let's quickly go, no, I don't need it. Okay, good, because I don't have one. Let's just check our inventory quickly. We don't have any weapons, just so we know that. All right, do you want this sword? Sure, I'll have it. Here you go. Now, if you wanted some sort of re like little display that you're getting it, you have to enter and text something for that, saying you got the sword, maybe put an icon. But let's just check. Oh, there we have a mithril sword, just like that. Mm -hmm. He gave it to us. Let's talk to him again. Do you want the sword? Sure, I'll have it. Here you go. Now we have two mithril swords. So he's just going to keep doing that forever, just giving you non-stop mithril swords. So, so maybe you only want one. You, don't, you want him to give it to you once and then say he doesn't have it anymore. So let's do that now. So going back into here. So, this whole thing here, this whole section here, we're just going to copy it, I think. Let me just check this. Yeah, we're going to copy this entire page. So we go copy event page, and then paste event page. So we have two of them. So on our, we'll keep number two as it is. This is how we want it. So, number one. We're going to keep it the same for now, and uh, if item, oh, item, okay, you know what, we're going to have to put in a variable. This is how you do the variables. You're going to want to have a variable saying that he has the mithril sword. So as soon as you give it to him, we double click here so it goes into the above line, control variables. This variable we're just going to call have sword and when he gets the sword we're going to uh, we're going to subtract we're going to take it we're going to put it as a the have sword will have a minus one uh, value and that's because variables goes with a number or above. So he's going to give you the sword. The variable will show minus one. Now on your other page here, you're going to want to set, set it. So this entire page here will happen if have sword is zero or above. So after, after that runs the first time, it'll be negative one. And from then on, this will run. No, you know what? That's wrong. You're going to want to have that here. So only this only runs the time when it's above zero. When it comes below zero, this does not run anymore. So we don't need a variable on this one. We need the variable on the on the original one where he gives you the sword. Then we're going to go into here. So when he says, sure, I'll have it, we're going to delete this weapon out of here and instead of him saying here you go he's going to say I already gave you one oops I already gave you a sword and let's test that out now so he should only now give you the sword one time if we if I did this right let's talk to this guy hey do you want the sword no Hey, do you want the sword? Sure, I'll have it. Here you go. So I have it. Talk to him again. Hey, do you want the sword? Here you go. Did he give it to me? He did. You know what? I messed this up, but that's okay, because it's good to learn this. It's good when you learn this the, the wrong way, so you see what happens the wrong way versus the right way.
So all we want to do here is just move these pages to the different side. We want this one over here and this one over here. So an easy way is just copy event page, click paste, so paste after it, and then delete the one on the left. So we just switched them, switch sides. Let's run this again. This time it should work. This is good for uh, all kinds of different things that you only want to have happen one time. I already gave you the sword. Alright. Seems I did something wrong again. So. We're going to. You know what? I don't know why the fuck this isn't working. Give me a second. Hey, I just uh, came back. Um, I don't know what exactly I did wrong before, because I, I didn't really change anything. So I have it working now. So um, I have I changed control variables. I think I figured it out, actually. I had subtract negative 1. So every time it was subtracting negative 1, Math says that means plus one. So I just said set it to negative two. Fuck it. And that's what we did. So let's run this thing again. So remember that if you're ever trying to set variables, you may want to just set it instead of minusing or plusing. Uh, okay. So we're going to get in here and check this thing out. So all I did there was we have the one that has the variable on the right where you get the sword. On the left where he says he already gave it to you. And again, set it. Don't don't add or subtract for one like this. Cause then it's just annoying. All right, here we go. Hey, do you want the sword? No. So I'm just gonna check this, okay? Because he doesn't have one. You want a sword? Here you go. So we have our sword. There's our sword. Now we're gonna talk to him again. Hey, you want the sword? Sure. He already gave me a sword. I still only have one now, so. He already gave it to me. It's not ever going to happen again. So it's just a one-time thing. And that's how you do that for the choices. For uh, variables and choices. If you want one-time one -time occurrence type of events. Of course, you can make all kinds of other things. Like uh, you can put in more. Um, we're going to put in more choices right here. What text? After he says, I already gave you the sword. Your guy, who's going to look like this all of a sudden, is going to say, no, you didn't. And then he's going, uh, our keeper guy, was he the old man? He's going to say, are you sure? Like this. And then we're going to put in some more choices. Make it a little more fancy. Let's go with yes and no. So if he says, am I sure that I don't have my weapon? We're just going to make the guy then say, you're a liar. <laughs> or if he says no, then the guy will respond with, uh, well, I am sure. Okay, let's just try this. So we have some choices and then more choices within those choices. Let's check this real quick. All right, do you want a sword? Sure, here you go. We got it, we got it. You want a sword? He already gave me a sword. No, you didn't. Are you sure? Yeah, you're a liar. So you can put in cool little things like that with choices within choices, and that's how you can have um, branching paths and storylines by setting variables and, and different things like that. Like say you talk to a guy, and then later on you meet him up, meet up with him later, and he'll remember that he talked to you because you can set a variable when you talk to him. You know, choices and things.